Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, our chairs are fucked, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nah, oh for real. God, it's time for an upgrade. Yeah, fuck we need yeah, to fuck this. We might have right. spent some bread. We bro. are, bro. I'm tired of this shit. That's what I Facts. said about the videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this. I was about it, bro. I don't want to hear nothing. We tired squeaking ass chairs. Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome to episode 173 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. We got John here with me, and we're back what up, with. What up? We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, going over to Patreon and uh, supporting us over there. Getting yourself some merch if you haven't done so. Go down in the link. It'll be in the description. And uh, yeah, get you, get yourself a fucking hoodie or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? We got some merch. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, we're back with another one. We appreciate y'all. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? Yo, feeling good, man. Had a really good birthday weekend. Hey, Productive. Man. I'll tell getting you what, shit bro. done. Round of applause, bro. Round of applause to my dog. He's getting shit done. You know what I mean? At his birthday and a video shoot Woke on the up. same day. How Woke, more productive come can on. you fucking be, all right? Woke up at 7 a.m. Said, fuck it. I got a podcast to do. I'm going to be home. We, bro. That's hey, how. This is, round this of is, applause. This shit's how it goes, This bro. is what we got to do. If I'm tired. If you ready to but, work, bro. If you ain't ready to work. I, listen, man. At the end of the day, bro, like, I don't know, man. I'm not too big on, on excuses, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I, like, I, like, like I, there's certain times, bro, but it's yeah. like, nigga, I'm not too big on excuses because I'll tell y'all what behind these fucking glasses and hat, there's a corpse right now. I'm fucked. Fucked. Nah. I feel like shit. Nah, he's going through. He couldn't even make it. I was fucking pissed. I feel like shit, I bro. Thought, I couldn't make it to this guy's I birthday. He was I'm, mad going at me. Every, I'm going through to every like, one of his birthdays, bro, for the past like yeah, six I know. years. I was like, and I couldn't make it, bro. That's how fucking shitty I felt. And I was just like, nah, bro. I can't. I can't, bro. Yeah, can't. my dog was. My dog looks like nah, shit. but happy birthday, man. I love hey, you, bro. Man, I you know what I'm saying? Made it to doing. fucking 27. You know what I'm saying? That's that's age, bro. Yeah, that's bro. Age, man. You know. <laughs> It's crazy, man. My mom's like, I can't believe it. Like 27. 27. I was like, yeah, I'm already my 20s, man. My 20s already done. almost done. And that's what I mean, man. Shit yeah. goes quick. Yeah, it's crazy. And I was talking about that shit the other day. I was saying how like the age of like 26 to 30 is really a pivotal moment in people's lives. It's when people decide if they're going to keep doing the same shit they were doing in their early 20s or if they, they're going to evolve to yeah. start doing other shit. And I noticed like every year, like I'm always doing something better. Better than last mm-hmm. year. You got to, bro. You know? You it's got like, to. And if it's you're all, not improving, yeah. if you're not improving, then, then what are you yeah, doing? Exactly. You're staying stagnant. And being stagnant is is being marked for death, bro. Exactly. If you ain't moving, bro, then... Yeah, you know but what I'm saying, but you know what be moving. <laughs> I fucking tell you what, bitch. A, a lot of things be fucking. A moving. lot of things be moving in these fucking woods, rustling nah, around, nah, bitch. I don't know, man. <laughs> I, little, I'm talking you know, about bugs too and shit. Yeah, like, listen. I don't know. What's the scariest animal to you? Oh God, I feel like the locusts are pretty scary to me. Locusts? Yeah, the big Nigga, ones. I'll stomp on a fucking locust. Nah, I'll hit I that mean, bitch like, with my chancleta. A spider. You know what I mean? Like something that that's like I'm really. With I'm with you. A spider, I ain't fucking with. Yeah, spiders are scary. You know what I mean? Especially when you're sitting on the toilet or something, and you're just like, nigga. I'll tell you what. A snake. I don't fuck with snakes, man. Nah, that's just, to me. It's already like ingrained in me. Like you don't fuck with snakes. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like it's nah, just a real. snake is a, a snake will fuck. Like Nip said, a snake will bite you, bro. It just hasn't chosen to do so yet. Real shit. Because anybody that owns a snake, they've been bitten by that snake at some point. <laughs> no fucking beat. I the- swear to God, like it just happens. It nah, happens, bro. It's part of their instinct. You know the tarantulas. I'm not fu- anything spider, bro. Yeah, I'm not fucking with. But like. Bro, you know what, bro, like, there's just so much scary shit out there. Like, a fucking Nile crocodile to me. <laughs> have you ever looked into their eyes? Like, I don't nigga, know. they have no soul. They just want to kill you. There's like, <laughs> I swear to God, bitch, you touch that water, you're done. Nah, They're for just real. waiting. Nah, <laughs> for real. I just don't, I don't understand those people, man, that can just, like, go next to a fucking crocodile and shit, and they put their face next to it. Like, you ever seen those That's people? some white people shit. I'm going to keep it real. Yeah, like, you, you went to Gatorland. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not going near the alligator, though. You, you like, saw- <laughs> I'm going to fucking throw the hot dog from here. <laughs> you saw and the albino? It. You saw the albino? Y'all, those shits was dope. But yeah. they'll kill you too, bitch. Yeah. Don't sleep. God oh, it's beautiful. God <laughs> right on your fucking <laughs> noggin, bitch. <laughs> My dog, my dog, bro. Nah, real talk, bro. That shit will fucking clap you up real quick, bitch. Nah, bro. Fucking, I got so high last night, too, bro. <laughs> it was wild as fuck, man. Yo, while this guy was having the night of his life, like, 
fucking Las Vegas type shit, bitch. I was dying. Bro. I was fucking passing blunts left and right. <laughs> I was like, hey, everyone get a blunt. Everybody, Everybody's chilling. Corona this way, yeah. Corona that way. <laughs> Taking shots. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and we chilling, we we having a good time, and yeah. uh, I felt productive, man. Felt nah, bro, man. I'm 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 happy for you, bro. I'm proud of you. Um, this is your second birthday you've done this, right? Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. You've, yeah, you've shot a video on your birthday on or third. around your birthday. Something Shit, like this that. the third that you've done it on your birthday it, shooting a video. No, no, no. I think it's been the second. Oh, it is the second. But that's still commendable, nigga. Yeah. Round of applause, like. Hey. That that goes to show you guys like this guy's fucking working for it, right? He says he wants it, but he's also putting the work behind it. He wants to do music, but nigga, look at what he's doing. On his fucking birthday, he's not saying, nah, fuck that, I'm gonna go to the beach and get drunk and this and that. Nigga, he's saying, fuck that. We're gonna set this up. I'm gonna have the cameraman here. I'm gonna have this set up. I'm gonna have it all ready so that we can be productive and I can have a fucking little getty for my birthday afterwards, bro. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean? Now we like, chilling, man. You know what I mean? But going back to like the animals. There are a lot of fucking animals, my nigga. Nah, bro. That shit, listen, man. A lot of them. I, I, the scariest shit to me is getting caught in a field of fucking, like, uh, the jellyfish. That's some scary shit. Bro, it might got, not seem I like got, it, bitch. I got stoned by one, bro, and it's right. <laughs> and it hurts, bro, because you don't know where it's coming from. You don't know where did it's at. Did you pee on it? Did you pee on yes, it? Yes. I had, you pee, I had to pee on my to, leg, bro. yeah. Guys, that is a real thing. Don't think that we're just bullshitting. Nah. If you ever get stung by, you know what I'm a saying? Jellyfish. A jellyfish. A jellyfish. Yeah. Fuck around and take a piss on it. Yeah. Real talk. For real. And that actually helped me out like a lot. It's more like a Florida thing, you know what I mean? People don't know. Yeah. They think that we just do that normally. <laughs> speaking piss about on ourselves. Speaking about people fucking, talk about Florida crazy, bro. Nah, but Florida, bro. Speaking about Florida, man, like there was supposed to be a hurricane last night and it was quiet as hell. A hurricane, bro. Bro, they said thirty five miles an hour. You know that they just hype things up. Just because, like, they want to sell generators and yeah, they probably needed to sell some <laughs> extra water sitting around. Yeah, the gas, Whatever. you know, the gas is. People are gonna start picking up fucking gas like by the fucking gallon and shit. Bro. You know how you know how people are. They that's start- how it goes, man. But that that's why we always talk about like being a hustler, bro, and the pros and cons of being a hustler and shit. And yeah. I feel like that's one of the pros of being a hustler is that you're gonna figure some shit out, like regardless of the situation that you're in. You're going to figure out a way to, to get through it and capitalize off of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, bro. It's tough out here for a pen, bro. It's tough out here for a hustler. <laughs> now, it really is, man. People think that, bro, we're in the age where everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. Everybody thinks they're an entrepreneur. They want to do this, do that. But it's like, bro, most people are not entrepreneurs. Most people can't handle the workload that comes with being a real entrepreneur mm-hmm. going and get it on your own. Yeah. Like you don't rely on a weekly check like most people or bi weekly check or a monthly check. Like you don't rely on it. There might be a month you don't make shit. Like real talk. And sometimes bro. You it's know not and it's sometimes like, it's not even about the about the money part. It's more just like there's other things too that come with it where it's just like, yo, like, you know, with family. It becomes a problem because you start making that money. What happens when the money does come in and your and your hard work does yeah, pay off? Bro. Nah, facts. People but start that's a very sm- that's a small percentage of people. Bro. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm. That's exactly my yep. point. It's like it's a very small percentage of people that get to that point. Mm-hmm. Most people, bro, as soon as they see they go two months without getting a for sure check, they go right back to a for sure check. Yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? And yep. that's the that's the hardship. That's part of the real hardship. Is like giving up the financial stability to be like, yo, I'm gonna just try this, bro, and see how the fuck it goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you're absolutely right, bro. When the money does come in, bro, like people start treating you like I've always heard like certain people, certain celebrities say it all the time. They're like, yo, bro, like when the money comes in, you don't change. The people around you change. And it's fact. Yep. It's like, nigga, when we was both broke, you never asked me for a fucking dime. Yeah. But as soon as you see I'm up, now you automatically need 10 grand out of nowhere. <laughs> like, what the I fuck? Don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I haven't like really that. hung around anybody that's ever done that. Yeah, bro, I I have, I have, bro, and it's it's like, damn, nigga, like, yeah. first of all, like, yeah. I don't owe you anything. Yeah. You never pay my bill, nigga. You never, you know, what I'm saying, like, guys, don't ever feel like you're entitled to somebody else's money because you just know them. <laughs> like, you just because you know them doesn't mean you were there staying up the long nights doing whatever they were doing. To, you know, what I'm saying, move themselves forward in life. Like, you're their friend. 
that doesn't mean they're responsible for your fucking financial situation, bro. Mm. Let's be real. As a real friend, you should put somebody on. Like, if you got some information or a way they can make some extra money or whatever, bro, yeah, pass it along. Be like, yo, bro, I heard about this. Maybe you could do this, whatever. But yeah. it's like, they're not responsible for putting money in your fucking pocket just because they're nah, your friend. No, nah, but I notice a lot of people that don't really, like, want to talk about their business and getting money because, like, there's, like, secret societies and shit. You know what I mean? Like, people have, like, it's like clubs and shit. Like, you don't want to be, facts. you know what I That's mean? Facts. It's kind of like... Oh, I work. I work here, and you know what I mean. We're gonna keep it low key. Don't be telling people. You know what I mean? Because the bread is here. We are gonna get it all. Hey, man, that that's what anything, bro. Yeah. Like, there's always a few people at the top that control most of the fucking money and most of everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But, bro, it's just I don't know, man. It, it's a hard. It's a hard age. I mean, it's not even a hard age to be a hustler. It's the easiest age to be a hustler. It bro. is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and not like hard. Like, I just mean like there's just other things that come with it. You know yeah, what I mean? Nah, Besides the money. Like, you know what facts. I mean? Yeah. That's facts, bro. It's like, just, like, for real, bro. People change. You know what I'm saying? You change. You, you start, change. Look, you you really start do. looking at shit different, bro. And you might not want to be around the same shit that you were around before. And if that costs some friendships, then so fucking be it, bro. Because you're on your journey to be successful. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like, uh, everything else is like, if, you know, if they want to be there for the journey, awesome. If they don't, no problem, bro. You got to keep going. It just sucks you know for saying? me because sometimes I get I get too attached on certain shit and people sometimes where it's just like you don't want to let them go. You ever been in that situation where it's of like, course. It's like of man, course. I don't even want to let you go. You know You're what I mean? You're human, bro. And it hurt. The, yeah. the fucked up thing about it is in those situations, it usually hurts you more than it hurts the other person. Exactly. It's like, damn, they get like, like it just hurts you more. You know what I'm saying? But of course, I've been in situations like that and I still had to let people go, bro. Yeah, that you shit sucks. Saying? Like it's just... It's one of those things where it's like, bro, if we cross paths later in life and shit and reconcile, then cool. Bro. Yeah. It's I'm just, not a po- like, there's no beef, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't have beef with anybody. Yeah. If there's ever a beef with me, bro, it's one sided, nigga. I, I, I'm on my business. I live my fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Out the way. I'm not in no beef shit, but there's certain people where it's just like, bro, we could be cool from, you know, <laughs> from separate from separate places. Yeah, we could we could be cool from like over there. You know, yeah, what I mean? like, like we're cool, no, but it's no like fucking animosity, really. bro. But it's just like I can't be hanging around you, bro, and keep doing the same shit I was doing five, six years ago, bro. I just can't, bro. I can't be doing the same shit I was doing two years ago or a year ago. Like you just said, it's like every year you got to be you got to change, bro. Every year you got to evolve. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it, and you know. If you keep doing the same, if you've been doing the same shit for 10 years, bro, then you've been stuck in the same place for 10 years. And I That's feel, how I feel. And yeah, exactly. And I feel like, I feel like fucking, I don't know, I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> My dog, Liddy Titty, bro. Nah, hey, bro, bro, you had a good birthday night. Yeah, man. It's, bro. Go, it's all good, bro. Yeah, bro. It was it's a good time. It's all good. Nah, but bro. listen, man, you know what wasn't all good, bro? It was the time that you almost put hands on Chad, bro. Round of applause to my fucking yo, dog. Yo, Chad. Nah, but I'll tell you yo, what. We've talked you know about what? this before, bro. I feel bad about it now. You I'm, know you why? Know what I mean? Because you would have put fucking hands on you if you was Chad. Yeah, I would. Be, now it's like, yo, yeah. I just gave this little motherfucker this piece of shit towel. Yeah. And in 10 seconds, it's gone. Bro, yeah. this nigga, fu- I didn't know what he did with it. He told me later, and I'm like, yo, this guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, nah, I felt talk about it. What nah, happened, bro? bro? You know, man, like I, I used to work for this towel company, bro. I remember that shit. We used to work together, man. It mm-hmm. was it was so trash, bro. And all we ever talked about was not working there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bro, so, yeah. bro, and it was crazy, man. So, fucking, we worked for this towel company, and we had to put this towel back. It was like a little piece of towel. It was like this big. It's like the size Literally, of my like phone. The size of a phone. And uh, <laughs> they call it like a bull nose. Yeah, bull nose. So they have like a section where you you put it on. It's like a what do you call it? Like the rack. You yeah. know what I mean? And so I just threw it. Like I threw it, and it landed in the back and broke. <sighs> Bro. Meanwhile, Chad just handed this shit to this man. Yeah. Walked around the corner. Literally, like it was like a ten second fucking thing. Yeah. He walked around the corner, picked up his clipboard. And walked back. And he's like, all right, where's the bull nose? And John's like, I don't know. And he's like, bro, <laughs> I just <laughs> fucking handed you it. Yeah. He's like, John's acting like he has no idea what the fuck Chad's talking about. All right. He's like, I don't know. 
So that's when Chad starts losing it. He's yeah. like, bro, I, I just, just yeah, fucking he just, handed this he shit. He starts getting it. loud. Yeah. But nah, I'm just standing nah, nah, in the cut like, where yeah, I'm like, like yo, okay. like, what are we doing? I, I'm yeah. like, I know my bro's wrong right now, yeah. but we still going to have to whip your ass yeah. in here yeah. if you swing. Yeah. No, that yeah, ass. Like, that's just how we rock. So yeah. it's like, what, what are we trying to do? Yeah. But And what did he do? He took me to the fucking principal <laughs> like a little fucking Like a little boy fucking he substitute is. teacher, bitch. Little school boy. You little fucking puss. Yeah, yo, I'll never forget. And when the I day. became bald, bro, bro, when I became bald, bro, he was pissed because he was like, "Man, I ain't the only bald motherfucker here no more." Man, listen, that nigga was just mad at his life. No offense to him. Yeah, like he was a good dude. Yeah, like overall, he, yeah, like he was I understand a good dude. him. Yeah, it was just the age difference, man. Like that. Yeah. Like we were in our early twenties. He was in his fucking like forties, late fucking thirties. You know, early forties, and it was, was just 50. like. He drank a lot. You could tell. Yeah. Or, yeah. But I'll never forget the day they fucked up his motorcycle, too, with the cement. Oh, nah. Like, oh, did, oh, yeah. Oh, you don't remember that nah, shit? Nah, damn. Bro, fucking, I forgot who it was. He parked his Harley, bro, like right with, like right at the front. Oh. Some nigga picked up a fucking bag and <laughs> fucked his whole shit. Oh, and that's why he never brought it back. You know, that shit happened to me one time in the Focus. I was, dri- I was in traffic and there was a cement truck and it fucking. <laughs> <laughs> And that shit was leaking, bro. <laughs> that man shit stuck on my front. <laughs> that shit, nah, that shit stuck bro. on my front bumper, and and yeah, it, it was. I was pissed because it, it didn't really come out. Like it took hey, some man. some scrubbing, it, and, scrubbing, bitch. Yeah. It, it's bro. It you dry, got cement on your paint, and then it started fucked. drying up on my hands and shit. Oh my god, <laughs> I was nah, getting pissed. I, yo, that you put that focus yeah. through some shit, bro. We've talked about it before, but <laughs> you remember that when you put the that? rims on, bro? That was the heaviest, smallest car I ever seen in my life, bro. Yo, the fact when you let me drive it and I hit the gas and it didn't go, I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, this shit's. Fucked. This shit's way too heavy for this car. <laughs> yeah, but it looks smooth, oh nigga. My God. That shit was smooth. Yeah, I'm fucking crying, bro. That shit was funny. I'm pretty sad in that bitch. Nah, bro. That bitch was low. <laughs> <laughs> And my dog was like, nah, nah bro. George sat in it, he's like, damn, nigga, this shit is low. Nah, bro. Nah, but your ass cheeks are literally this far away from the fucking ground when you're riding down the fucking road. For you hit a bump, your ass cheeks might be gone. Nah, no bro, cow. you hit something hard, bro. <laughs> bro, I'll never forget the day, bro. I fucking, I fucked that car up too, man. I got stuck at a gas station, bro. It was like a little... And it scraped so hard, bro. <laughs> yo, I told this man 20 times. I was like, yo, like, that shit looks smooth. But if you're going to get it, get it done right. Bro. Yeah, I was that dude where He's was like, like, no, no. bro. <laughs> fucking Bobby over here say he can do it for $150. Yeah. Yo, I'm t- like, bro, your shit's going to be fucked in six months. No, nah, He bro. didn't believe me. In six months, what happened? I think it's like his shit to Ford. They say, yo, bro, we need 1600 from you to put a whole new gas fucking tank in your shit because it's fucked. Yeah. I was like, bro, what I tell you? Yeah, I know. It was crazy times, bro. Now we we all did that stupid shit. Yeah. I fucked a few cars up too. Yeah. I had some shit cars, man. Let's <laughs> talk about it. Yeah, I had, my first car, bro, was a Buick Century. I think it was a 1999 bro. or 2000 Buick Century. I remember bro. a couple shitty cars. And yeah. that, bro, few of them. I didn't, bro. But that's what I'm saying, bro. You gotta fucking stay down till you come on, bro. I had shitty cars, shitty cars, bro. Fucking around. My first car was a Buick Century 2000, and uh, yeah. The window stopped working. Every single last window stopped working, bro. Every single last window stopped working. Anybody that has those cars, you, oh, know, you, you can would, attest. I remember so I was now. driving down the street everywhere <laughs> with the fucking rain coming in my shit, bro. I remember, you remember? I used to have to run out in the middle of my jobs to when it starts raining yeah. just to put up my window because the shit was sliding down and shit. Like, bro, trash, bro. Trash. Nah. Then I got the second Buick, and it was cool for a little bit. Uh. Bro, I remember when I saw them roaches started fucking popping out. And I was like, what the fuck? I'd never seen nothing like it. I cleaned that car up as good as I could. And I sold it to the fucking dealership for the Camaro. I said, fuck this, bro. No. I hope they don't see. I, don't, I hope Frank don't pop his fucking head out. No. I want them fucking no, looking at They looking for that Camaro now. They need that shit. <laughs> They been looking. Oh, no, we man. need our shit, man. This is a bad Yo, deal. You gave me a roach nah, infested Buick. Hey, bro. Nah, bro. I remember I seen that shit. I saw Robert fucking playing over there, playing cards with Susie. 
I bro. saw Sasa, my dang They were fucking bro. dancing in the cut. They were in the cut, bro. You saw Ricky over there so <laughs> slinging dope, bitch. It was so much shit going on in my car. Yeah, we saw all these roaches doing whatever the fuck bro, they wanted. It bro. was bad. It was bad. And then when I finally got my my Camaro, bro, I swear, man, I went with mom. Shout out to my Dukes, bro. Hey, yeah, she Ma saved Dukes. his life, bro. I went with my Dukes <laughs> and I picked up that Camaro, bro, and I felt I was like, bro, this is it, like. Nah. I'm not like bro. It was a long time coming. I, I had remember a lot of shitty cars. Shit, I remember the time when uh, going back to that Butte. Fucking, I dropped that window. You were like, bro, don't let this the fucking guy. <laughs> We've talked about it, but we'll do it again. Listen, this fucking guy, right? You don't ever listen to me a yeah. day in his fucking life. He's never listened to me once. No, nah, I was bro. like, yo, bro, don't put my fucking window down. Please don't put my window down. I see the clouds bubbling up, bitch. It's about to rain. Don't put my window down. All right, bro, I got you. I got you. We sit in the fucking car. Start the bitch. Start driving. <laughs> Get to the stop sign. All I see is the fucking window going down. <laughs> You're like, yeah. And literally five <laughs> seconds later, bro, it starts fucking raining. And I'm just like, bro, I was hitting this nigga so fucking hard in his arm, bro. Yeah, I, I was got like, fucked bro. Up. Uh, nah, bro, fuck out of here, bro. If you yeah. weren't my friend, I would have fucked you up. <laughs> like, I would have pulled over and fucked you yeah. up, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Nah, he was better. <laughs> Yo, bro, like, what the fuck? Nah, bro, good times though. Good times, man. We've had some great fucking times, bro. Nah, for real, it was uh, <laughs> wild times, bro. I remember fucking doing wild ass shit, bro. Wild ass shit in high school, bro. Yeah, man. What came first, man? <laughs> the the, the chicken it. or the egg, bro? What came me, first? You know, you want me to be honest? Yeah. What came first? Come on. I think. Bring it to me. No homo. <laughs> I don't know, bro. That's a hard one. But honestly, I think the egg might have come first. And it might have came from something else. You see what I'm saying? Like the egg came first. From where? It was supposed to be like another animal. And then it was like mutated or some shit. And it was a chicken. So like someone made it? Not nah, just like evolution. Okay. Like evolution. I don't know. I feel. But like, I don't know, bro. I feel like who who fucking knows, man. I feel like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ made him. He left. The or fucking, was it his dad? He left. He left a little eggy there. Oh, so the egg came first. Eggy was was just in the ground. In the ground. It God popped, damn. It popped up. Popped up. Ready to go. <laughs> it, I mean, I feel like yo, this guy, how, man. How do you think humans were here? I really don't know, man. I, I, I have no idea, bro. My brain is not equipped to think about shit like that, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm going to keep it 100. It's Yo. like, I, I try to think about shit like that, but it's like, who fucking knows, bro? It's like, like let's be real. Who like, fucking knows? It's like we're in a fucking glass. Oh, you know? we could have been made. We could. This could all be an experiment. You know what I'm saying? We could have popped up out of nowhere. It could have took millions of years of uh, for us to get here. Like, who knows, bro? Maybe. Like, who the fuck knows? It's just, it's wild, man. It has to be toxic. <laughs> it's got to be a fucked up story. Nah, bro. Our, <laughs> bro, for the last 6,000 years, our story's fucked up. Yeah, Nothing but war and uh, niggas getting their heads chopped off. Sex, and getting raped. Pillaging and rape and fucking war, war and all types of shit. Like, it's, that's all that's been happening for the last 6,000 years, bro. And it's not going to stop. Like, people think that we've come so far and we're so evolved. The only thing that's evolved is the technology, bro. We're still primitive. Like, instead of going out there on horseback and chopping each other up, we just send a drone now. It's, it's the same yeah, shit, though. Like, it's still fucking people up. I'm going to send a drone and drop something. It ain't going to be nice. Yo, but that's crazy, bro. Because I feel like... <laughs> bless you, brother. I feel like the uh, like the guys, the soldiers that use the... Uh, they use, like, drones and, like, technology. Mm -hmm. I feel like they don't have the same PTSD as the guys that are, like, they're shooting niggas. Oh, like, yeah, no, nah, nah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, bro, like. Once that shit blows up, you're like, all right. Yeah, you might fuck around and blow up 16 people, but it was like, it looked like a video game. You know, you're on a screen, it's black and white, and you just see things glowing, and then you hit a button, and all of them are blown up. But it's like, you're not there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas on the ground that, like. You got to run through a village getting shot at, shooting niggas and shit, seeing niggas, your friends' brains get blowed out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah. different, bro. Like, and I feel like we're moving further away from the hand-to-hand -hand combat 
and we're going more towards the technology shit. But I feel like that's going to be worse because it's going to take it's going to desensitize motherfuckers from killing people. It's going to be like Call of Duty for motherfuckers. It Real is. Talk. It is. Damn, bro. Call of Duty, the new one's dropping in November. I'm coming back into the oh, gaming, yeah, yeah, yeah. gaming community, guys. No, no, I just listen. want to let you guys know I'm coming back to become a nerd again. It's not even to become a nerd, man. I've video games nerd. ain't for nerds, bro. Video games are for people that enjoy video games. But you know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm into Call of Duty. You know what I mean? So, it's been my thing. Uh, bro, listen. Call of Duty is the shit. Whoever grew up on Call of Duty, this you know what the fuck up. it is. Modern Warfare? Modern Warfare. They, I'm waiting. October. I didn't get Vanguard. If y'all got Vanguard, bro, I don't know, man. I'm looking at you different. Yeah, no Ke- Kevin wanted me to get it. I was just like, uh, uh, nigga, know. I'm not trying to. No offense, bro. Like, I'm not trying to go back to the fucking musket era. <laughs> like, nigga, when I the <laughs> first time I saw clock. when you had to call in a kill streak, the nigga put down a phone like the like one of those rolly phones. He put down a phone and you got to pick the bitch up. I was like, bro, by the time you call in that streak, you're fucked. Like you're fucked. Ain't nobody trying to go back to the time where you got a fucking call in from a fucking. Imagine, like, come on. Imagine bro. me trying to tell you something, bro, and I gotta send a guy on a horse to to tell you. That's damn near what it feels like. But nah, bro, I'm not gonna lie. You're talking about horses. Red Dead Redemption too, bro. Yeah, that's, that's just gas. That is a good game, and the first that one was really good. Gat. Yeah, I grew up on the first one, so when the second one came out, I was like, nah. it's like a GTA of like. It literally back in is the day. a GTA. Like they're, it's made by the same. Yeah, people. same company. Yeah. I think but it's GTA, Rockstar. Yeah, GTA is. I'll tell you what, man. Yo, GTA Six that's coming out. They're really. Oh they're yeah. Really oh yeah. That. Oh yeah. They have to, man. It's been too. It's been too long. It's been like since 2012 or some shit. Bro. Yeah. God damn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, when are you gonna drop, bro? <laughs> it's like no, these fucking rappers saying they're gonna drop shit and they never do. Facts, bro. That's me, bitch. <laughs> that's me, bro. I'm <laughs> always like, I didn't mean it like that. Yo, sir. it's coming. It's coming. Nah, but yo, bro. Let, like, let's talk about that for a second. Like, when it comes to art, bro, like, it's crazy, man. I had to explain to a few of my friends where I was like, yo, bro, like, when you're creative and you're creating your shit, it's like, sometimes there's a period where nothing comes to mind. And a lot of fucking artists have too much of an ego to tell you that. Yeah. But it's like, nigga, you might be on fire for four months out of the year, dropping heat, dropping heat, dropping heat. And then out of nowhere, you're just, life hits you, shit happens, you're going through family shit, whatever. It's life, nigga. And then you're like, or you just don't have nothing to say, nigga. <laughs> like, you just have nothing to say at the moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it. Like as an artist, that's why I respect people like Jay-Z. I respect people like Pusha T. I respect people like... I just respect the people that they move on their own time. Yo, Canada, I mean, they're letting them back in, Pusha T. They said that Drake is... Uh, he said, yeah, you, you, you're you welcome. Bro, that was never no real beef, bro. That was that was. Like You're welcome now. Nine times out of ten, that shit's to make money. Is is there's no real smoke behind nah, it? Nah, but there, there shout was, out to that man. Like, nah, they were, Canada, they were saying that like Drake was Drake has like that power in Canada, where it's like, yo, you're not if you're not allowed to, to come here. You're not allowed to come here. Of course, that's crazy. That's pretty dope, though. That's how it goes, man. That's how, that's what that shit comes with, bro. But. But nah, bro, like I was saying, bro, I just, I just respect the artists that move on their own time. So if you're an artist out there, we live in a we live in a, in an era where it's like a lot of artists feel like you have to drop something every week or you have to be, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that, man. If you're, you know, if it takes you six months to come up with a great piece of art, then that's what it took you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to sit here and move on somebody else's time like Nigga, you're on your time. You're the artist. You know what your art, you know what you want your art to sound like, look like, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So move in your pace because it's going to make you feel comfortable in what you're doing. And when you feel comfortable in what you're doing, then the sky's the limit. The sky's you know the fucking limit. But that's just my advice for y'all, for y'all, you know what I'm saying, artists out there. Move on your own time. Real shit. Move on your own time and don't move, don't move quick. Move correctly. Yeah, exactly. Like Rick Ross said, bro, like yep. I don't want to move fast. I want to move correctly. Yep. Like dead ass, I, I felt that he's like, yo, if it takes us ten years to do something, then it took us ten years to do something. But let's do it right. Yeah, that, that's exactly how I feel, bro. It's like a lot of I, f- I really do feel like a lot of artists put out projects that they're not even fucking proud of. You know what I'm saying? They just have to do it because they're under a contract or the labels telling you, hey, bro, by this date we need ten songs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Whatever. But yeah, man, like that's just how that shit goes, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's it's. That's part of the game, guys. But we'll tell you what. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to Patreon. Check us out over there. Get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And last but not least, 
Don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.